In this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create this glitch effect in Premiere Pro. Here inside Premiere, I already have my clip on the timeline, so I'm gonna first go up here to effects, and I'm gonna type in VR digital glitch, and I'm gonna click and drag that onto my clip. Then I'm gonna go back over here, and I'm gonna type in directional blur. Click and drag that onto the clip. Then I'm gonna go to the point in my timeline where I want this effect to begin. Right about here is fine for me. And I'm gonna go up here to effect controls and scroll down to VR digital glitch. Drop down the distortion tab, and first I'm gonna change the color distortion to 100 and I'm going to change this distortion rate down to zero. That gets rid of the artifacts and it gives it that RGB split looking effect. Then what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to start to create some keyframes. So I want to first click on the stopwatch here where it says master amplitude and change this to zero. And that created a keyframe there. Next, I'm gonna go forward three frames and I'm going to create a second keyframe, changing this back to 100 for master amplitude. I'll then go forward three more frames and I'm gonna change this back to zero. And then I'll go ahead and play back what we just created. And that looks pretty subtle. It's already looking pretty good to me. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so that I can see these keyframes a little easier. And I'm gonna press this go to previous keyframe button to take me back to my very first keyframe. And I'm gonna scroll down here to directional blur. Then what I'm gonna do is click the stopwatch for blur length and I'm gonna leave that at zero and I'm gonna go forward three frames. Then I'm gonna change this to something subtle, like we'll go with five, and that's gonna create a second keyframe. Go forward three more frames, and I'm gonna change that back to zero. And what that's gonna do is add a little bit of motion blur to my glitch effect. And that looks pretty good to me. Next, I'll go ahead and go back to that first keyframe. I'm gonna scroll up here, and I first want to change the scale to 115. I'm not gonna click the stopwatch because the reason I scaled in this clip is because I'm gonna be moving and repositioning this clip to give it that jitter effect. So next what I'm gonna do is click the stopwatch for a position and I'm gonna go forward one frame. That next keyframe is going to be created whenever I reposition this clip. So I'm just going to position it wherever I like. Right there looks good to me. And then I'm gonna go forward one more frame. Now what I'm gonna do is click this reset parameter and it's going to create a third keyframe. And that's just bringing it back to its original position. Then what I'm gonna do is go forward one more frame. I'm gonna reposition this. So something about like right here looks pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna go forward another frame, select reset parameter, and you can kind of see this pattern here. I'm gonna do this one more time. And hit reset parameter. And then we'll go ahead and play back what we just created. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. If you wanna create multiple of these glitch effects, instead of going through this process every single time, what you can do is go ahead and select all the keyframes that we just created. And then once you've selected all those keyframes, go ahead and right click and select copy. And then move the playhead to the point to where you want that next glitch effect to happen. And then right click and select paste. And it will go ahead and paste right there on that playhead line. And if you want, you can go in here and reposition if you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that real quick. That way it's not the same for every single clip. And then I'll go ahead and I'm just going to play everything back that we've made so far. And I think that looks pretty good. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.